Hey, what's up guys, Iman here, Monster Gadgets. And today, as you can see, I am in my 23 Model S Plaid, and I just got the update yesterday for FSC Beta on Hardware 4. This is my first drive. Let's go ahead and dive into it. guys welcome back so as you can see uh, I have put the destination in and we're gonna go to a sushi restaurant called Shinto's and uh, I am currently about five miles away 12 minute drive I'm gonna go ahead and engage FSD and uh, see how well this does as you might be aware if you're following my channel which if you're not go hit subscribe and make sure you give me a big thumbs up but I just bought my Model S Plaid a couple months ago in June and uh, because it has hardware 4 there was no release for FSC beta. Uh, the funny thing is, a couple days ago, uh, someone asked on Twitter and Elon responded and said it'll be about uh, six months, but not sure how, as of last night, I got the ping to update it and I updated my software and as you can see, I am running FSC beta. The software version on this is 2023.26.11 uh, and uh, that's what I'm currently running. That was update that came through for my Model S as well as my Model X. Um, so hardware 4 is official with FSC Beta release. So let's see how well this does. I'm gonna go ahead and shut up now. I'll let the car drive itself. And uh, if I take over, I will go ahead and talk through what happened. Otherwise, I'll probably just uh, pace through this so you guys don't actually have to watch it for the full time. And uh, let's see how well it does. For some reason, they break there. Um, not sure exactly why. There's nobody behind me. A huge distance in front of me. Um, let me check my. So not sure why I exactly did that. Um... But didn't have to take over. Just uh, not sure why it breaks like that. Interesting. I like the fact that it changed lanes because there was more room here than there. Uh, in the previous versions on the Model 3, I have never seen that happen before. So uh, it might have gone third lane, but that car was kind of coming fast. Maybe that's why I didn't do it, but I'm glad that it actually did change lanes to the center lane. We'll have to see if that's uh, something that's programmed and will continue to happen or if this was just a one occurrence. But for this drive, as you can see, it uh, did just fine.
So I just updated our destination. I uh, just remembered I actually have to go to the grocery store before I go to the restaurant. This will actually extend our trip uh, by about a mile and we'll actually get to see how well this actually turns. Otherwise, the restaurant we're gonna go to was actually on this road on Route 59. So now we'll see how well it does on actually turning instead of just a straight road. And even though there's traffic here, um, so far it's it's doing well. So let's take a look and see what happens with uh, the turn that it's going to take and uh, the new destination. There is traffic coming, so it should technically have gone, but it didn't. And it's gonna go after this car. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. It did pretty well there, actually. There's a car on my left. It's gonna merge over because this lane's ending, so I'm not sure what it's gonna do. It's struggling a little bit. Uh, there's a car behind me, so but it just turned, and it doesn't know what to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and take over because I don't want it to go into debris. There are no lane markings here, and so um, let me just give it feedback. The lane was coming to an end, it didn't know how to merge over to the left lane, it was struggling a bit. Alright, so we are just at our destination, we're only half a mile away, so unfortunately overall it did well, just not well enough with that turn as you guys seen. But I'll continue to do more testing on this, on this car, so make sure you stay tuned. Um, obviously this is the first one with the hardware uh, 4. But if you enjoyed this short road drive, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.